Welcome. I'm Ellen Zimmerman, co-author of Bridging the First Year Experience, an e-curriculum. And hi, I'm Debbie Kaiser, the other co-author of Bridging the First Year Experience. Uh, Debbie and I both have had many different jobs within the education system. We both started out as special education teachers. Yes. And then I went on to become a school counselor and then an assistant superintendent of special services. Then when I came to the college setting, which is where Debbie and I met each other, I was at that time the department chair for our first year experience program. I am also a faculty counselor who's responsible for student access, and I am currently an instructor for our first year experience course. So as you can see, we've both been instructors, department chairs, and had a variety of experiences related to student success and engagement. My background includes a little bit of special education, regular education, administrative work. I've also had some experiences in business related to healthcare, law, and finance. So the diverse background has brought us to the creation of Bridging the First Year Experience. It really has. And not only is this curriculum developed for student success, but it's also developed for personal success. In addition, my background as a licensed clinical professional counselor means that I'm always looking at student wellness, human wellness, and this curriculum touches on that as well, growing them as people, not just as students. Absolutely, and the exciting part of Bridging the First Year Experience are the connections that we're making. Mm -hmm. It's a dynamic, online, easy to access curriculum that's exciting and fun. And the piece that's important to me, I really feel, is that we're connecting with students right when they come into the classroom and then fostering that intentional, introspective yeah. look at who they are and who they're becoming as they journey through higher education. So it's really fun. It is. It's very exciting. We are now going to take you on a brief tour of Bridging the First Year Experience content as well as a look at the Instructor Resources area. Excellent. Bridging the First Year Experience eCurriculum is an online, easy to access tool. It's important as an instructor that you look at it as a toolbox or a menu approach to instruction. This is one easy way to have one curriculum that is going to work for a multitude of populations, whether it's an honor section and a returning adult section, a veteran section, the content is yours as the instructor or the department chair to look through and see what you think will work best with the students in your class. If you prefer to use a research article paired with a video, that works well. If you prefer to access one of the supplemental reading resources compared to some quotes and some graphics, that might work better for you. It's all in the hands of the instructor and can be tailored to meet the needs of the students. And the students do really love the interactive parts and the activities that we have in there. All my evaluations talk about how much they love working with each other. And a big part of student success is making connections with your instructors and your other students, and this curriculum allows for that as well. The last exciting piece as we journey to the introduction and the instructor resources is the accessibility. Students can use this on their phone, on their laptops, in the classroom, in the labs. It follows them everywhere. Bridging the first year experience is an element approach. And what we mean by that is that we've broken the curriculum down into eight specific elements. They are thinking, managing, knowledge of self, skills for success, unity and social justice, technology, responsibility, and alternative learning resources. Under each one of those is a component. So for example, under thinking, we have critically and theories. And then when you drill into each component, you are going to find that they all have the same nine subcomponents, which are an introduction to the students, an introduction to the instructor, lesson plans, research articles, supplemental readings, videos, YouTubes, podcasts, quotes, anything that you could think of that you might want to utilize within a lesson are in those subcomponents. 
easy to use e-curriculum. I'm going to take you through the instructor resource area a little bit to show you some of the helpful tips and resources that we have set up for you. In the instructor resource area, right off the bat, you will see four easy steps to start your students on the road to using the curriculum. It breaks it down into getting them excited about the curriculum, handing out the access cards or the access codes so that they can log in and access, which typically takes maybe four or five minutes, and then walks them through the site. There's also an instructor resource video regarding the access codes that shows you how to log in and have your students be successful right from the get-go. As we wrap up the instructor resource area, you'll see a user-friendly pull tab area that has content suggestions related to syllabus creation, as well as an area of instructor introductions for each of the eight elements. So as you can see, Bridging the First Year Experience has been designed to exemplify best practices related to student success and engagement. Some of those best practices which are really important are that it's adaptable to student needs, um, it addresses engagement and variety. As Vincent Tinto said, it connects students to what they really want to learn. Um, there's real world application, there's variety, there's empowerment, there's exciting options that promote critical thought, and we have really tried to address all of the stakeholders from students to instructors to department chairs. You know, when you think about it, those are three very different sets of needs. A department chair needs to make sure that they have uniformity of content and that they have qualified instructors who know what to teach and how to teach it. As well as you need to be meeting best practices for any course research or department research that your college requires. As an instructor, the curriculum is so user-friendly and interesting and adaptable. And for me, what I love the most is whether I'm teaching an honor section or I'm teaching an athlete section or a section for our vets or our returning adults, the curriculum allows me to adapt to what is going to meet their interests and really touch them as a person as well as a student. And then when you're looking at the students themselves, students need affordable, accessible curriculum. They also need to be challenged as students, but also as human beings. And that's what this curriculum does. It helps them work on being a better student while also looking at being a better person and what is it they want to bring into the world when they're done with their education. Because we certainly want everyone to be successful. And we're really looking at students, Ellen, as unique individuals that bring skill sets into the classroom and building upon that, which is really exciting. I agree. I agree with you, Debbie.